Good evening, uh, Cycle Community. Uh, this is uh, Dan Solovey with Team Admin B, uh, sponsored by Valir. We are wrapping up work on our Civil Discourse module. So the inspiration of our module was all the discussion in the news about the loss of civil discourse, the ability of people to interact with others on the opposite side of ideological divides in a constructive, helpful, open way. That's something that you know is becoming less and less a part of our uh, national and international way of interacting with each other, and uh, we try to see whether we could use Sitecore's experience platform and XConnect as a way of perhaps bridging those divides. So uh, to show you what we built and we're working on completing, um, I'm going to uh, hand this over to um, Erica Stockwell. Hi, Erica. Hi. So what we've built out is basically a comment forum with a new feature that we've added. So what you're seeing here is a simple um, comments page. Uh, it loads user comments from within Sitecore, um, and every time a user adds a new comment, it's going to scan that comment for a bunch of words that are defined in Sitecore as items, uh, as words that are not productive for civil discourse and take away from arguments. Um, each of these word items in Sitecore also has a severity level which determines the background color that the word is highlighted with and also has warning text that goes along with it so if you hover over any of these words it will show you a warning um, telling you why it's suggested to remove or rephrase this word for example this one here if you hover over the f word it says um, this is not constructive try to refrain from swearing um, if you then click submit again, or hold on. <laughs> so uh, first of all, we have a cooldown period uh, that you have to wait out before you can try submitting your comment again. Um, now I'm going to take a minute to think about this and rephrase what I'm saying. So I'm going to change this to and that comment was submitted. Uh, now, if a user really wants to submit a comment with warnings, they can do so after um, clicking a confirmation that they really want, do want to submit with the current warnings left in. The intention here is not to censor users or ban people from saying what they want to say, but rather to encourage them to think about what they're saying, take some time to cool down if they're speaking uh, from anger, and to rephrase what they're saying to get their point across in a productive and not incendiary way. We also have a user reports page, which is where we're going to be synced up to XDB. Here we generate, this is just test data for now, um, but what it will be showing is a report of all the users who have left comments on the site ordered by the warning percentage, so it's the worst user to the best user. Right now our worst user is Ed. Um, with 12 comments, his warning percentage is 142%. Um, and the best user is me, with zero warnings and 500 submitted comments. Fake news! <laughs> <laughs> to avoid swearing during a hackathon takes quite a bit of work. Um, okay. Um, I think uh, why don't why don't I'll sign it out here. Um, okay, so we're wrapping up work and hoping to, hopefully we'll have this submitted in the next couple of minutes. And I uh, wish want to wish all the participants uh, good luck and I uh, want to thank all the judges for all the work they're going to have to evaluate all these modules. Uh, and see you next year. Thanks. Bye bye.